yeah, some of the games that really intervened with my schoolwork have been like on my phone because it's always with me and you, I can always just pull it out. So I feel like those kind of disrupt like learning and stuff like that. So you gotta kind you gotta make sure that your phone is like away. And that really make a difference. So what games do you play um on your phone like? Uh, like Angry Birds, and then I also look at iFunny a bunch. Oh, cool. So. Do you do you um have um? Is it that's the game, Despicable Me? Despicable Me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that? What game? Despicable, Despicable Me. Me. Uh, no, I I don't have that game. Oh, the like minion game. Oh, I used I used to play that, but like. Games like Temple Run are pretty fun too. I kind of Candy really Crush. Can I just say yeah. that someone on the low is ever since Temple Run came out, everybody's trying to make a a, a new copy of Temple Run. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Uh -huh. As it, it makes a lot of different Temple Runs, so a lot of different but variety. Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run, is Temple Run. Who wants to um um finish some verb Temple Run Agent P? Like, come on, stick with one Temple Run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you yeah, ever played on Flappy Bird? Nah, I'm I'm gone into Flappy Birds. It's not really my type of game. It just made me want to break my phone, so I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Do you guys play Flappy Birds? Yeah, I yeah, play. I play. Yeah, What's I your play. high scores? Sometimes I want to break my phone. Lost some sound. Oh no. I think sometimes. Ciao, future! Carl, go ahead. Carl. Carl. Me and Chief play Carl. Carl there? Okay, so now we're good. You're on mute, Carl. I got it. Come on, Carl. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to ask, like, have you learned anything good about video games, like, before? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Uh, have you learned anything good uh, from video game before? Anything? Uh, yeah, I think like in the sports games I've played, I've learned a lot about the sport and like. Even like in the NBA, you can make like a team, and so you just kind of learn how that works and like how to manage the money in that game. And in Grand Theft Auto, I guess you can learn how to manage your money in that too. No, Assassin's Creed. Even though it's in a violent way. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed teaches you kind of history stuff a little oh, bit, yeah, but I don't know. They kind of make it seem. They kind of make it really cinematic, but there still is kind of like historical stuff to it. You know, going back in time like that, but. Call of Duty, you learn how to play as a team. Yeah. Team. Teamwork helps so, out, yeah. Well, like, do, do you agree with me? Like, it's not about, like, video game, but it's about, like, how you play the video game. That affect you, right? Yeah. I think sometimes, too, they, another positive aspect is if you play online with, like, your friends, because I know some of the kids that I play with were all friends at school, and so then it's just, like, another con way we connect outside of school. We can talk and just play them together. Yeah, that's like GTA Five. Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think like um, video, uh, video game with like it's not really bad. Like we can learn many things about video game. We can learn many things from video game. So yeah. it's the way like how you play video game that affect you. Not yeah. I think when problems come in is when that's all you want to do. It just kind of takes over your life and you just play video games all day. But if you can like manage it, you don't want to have it. it can be good. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, mm. you know, like uh, how much time do you spend? Just tell me that I'm um, way, way. What's up, yo, Noah? Yo. <laughs> You're muted, Carl. <laughs> um. Yeah, some of the games that really intervened with my schoolwork have been like on my phone because. It's always with me, and you, I can always just pull it out. So I feel like those kind of disrupt, like learning and stuff like that. So you gotta kind, you gotta make sure that your phone is like away. And that really 
definitely make a difference. So what games do you play um, on your phone? Like? Uh, like Angry Birds, and then I also look at iFunny a bunch. Oh, cool. So. Do you, do you um, have, um, is it, that's the game, Despicable Me? Despicable Me? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that? What game? Despicable, Despicable Me. Me. Uh, no. I, I don't have that game. Oh, the like minion game? Oh, I used, I used to play that. But like, games like Temple Run are pretty fun too. I kind of Candy aren't Crush. Really... Can I just say yeah. that someone on the low? Is, ever since Temple Run came out, everybody's trying to make a, a, a new copy of Temple Run. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Uh -huh. As it, it makes a lot of different Temple Runs, so a lot of different but variety. Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run, Temple Run. Who wants to, um, um, City some Ferb, Temple Run, Agent P. Like, come on, stick with one Temple Run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you yeah, ever you, played on Flappy Bird? Nah, I'm, I haven't gone into Flappy Birds. It's not really my type of game. It just made me want to break my phone, so I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. Do you guys play Flappy Birds? Yeah, I yeah, play. Yeah, I play. Yeah, What's your high scores? Sometimes I want to break my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to ask, like, have you learned anything good about video games, like, before? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Uh, have you learned anything good uh, from video game before? You tell me you anything uh, good? Yeah, I think, like, in the sports games I've played, I've learned a lot about the sport and, like, even like in the NBA, you can make like a team, and so you just kind of learn how that works and like how to manage the money in that game. And in Grand Theft Auto, I guess you can learn how to manage your money in that too. No, Assassin's even though it's in a Creed. violent way. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed teaches you kind of history stuff a little oh, bit, yeah, but I don't know. They kind of make it seem. They kind of make it really cinematic, but there still is kind of like historical stuff to it. You know, going back in time like that, but. Call of Duty, you learn how to play as a team. Yeah. Team, teamwork so, out, yeah. So, like, do, do you agree with me? Like, it's not about, like, video game, but it's about, like, how you play the video game. That affects you, right? Yeah. I think sometimes, too, they, another positive aspect is if you play online with, like, your friends, because I know some of the kids that I play with were all friends at school, and so then it's just, like, another con way we connect outside of school. We can talk and just play them together. Yeah, that's like GTA V. Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think like um, video, uh, video game with like it's not really bad. Like we can learn many things about video game. We can learn many things from video game. So yeah. it's the way like how you play video game that affect you. Not yeah. you. I think when problems come in is when that's all you want to do. It just kind of takes over your life and you just play video games all day. But if you can, like, manage it, it's still one of the question. This is Miss um, over in Oakland. Can I ask a question? No, uh, um, I have a question for you. To social media oh, impact. Because um, we have a student also uh, in our classes. We use a lot of social media for um, to get the word out there about their field research. Can I? How have you guys used social media in the classroom at all? Just, just an open question. All right, let's. Say we're gonna get uh, uh, a girl Call of Duty player down here. Okay. <laughs> uh, in there. Because uh, you know, I think that sometimes uh, Call of Duty might be stereotyped that it's only maybe males who play it. We'll hear Cassidy. Oh wait, no, but we also have uh, yeah, Vanessa. Also right. Okay, so maybe let's get some of the female perspective of it. Oh, John, I'm gonna send Johnny. Hi. I'm gonna send him. Your mom's gay and a host. Hi, I'm Cassidy. Um, I play video video games. I play Call of Duty mostly with lots of people in the class. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess like the bad stuff is like sometimes I get really like mad <laughs> at the game and I like want to throw the controller and like my parents will be like, "What are you doing?" And, that kind of gets pretty bad, but mm. like, overall, like, I think it's pretty fun to John, play. Let me you. Hold up. And I think it's cool to play with a whole bunch of different. Hold up, let me send you. Oh. Uh, let me do it. I don't need to send you. Shit. So yeah. I agree with you. Okay. I play video games and well, 
It can become addicting to or if you lose something, you <laughs> basically that's what I do. Yeah. I get mad easily and then I just be like, I'm gonna throw away the control. Yeah, I feel the same way because like everyone's like doing better than you and you're just like, I'm done. <laughs> but then like, sometimes you're like doing better than everyone else and then everyone gets mad at you and then it's like chaos. Or when they ask you to play you know? Yeah, and then, and then they all get you, yeah, because you're a girl, then everyone's, like, coming at you. Yeah. It's hard to be a girl gamer, but, you know, you got to do it. You got to do it. Girl. I think that there's a good thing about kind of game like Call of Duty. Like, when you feel angry about something in life, like in real life, you throw them in the video game, right? Like yeah. You, right? That's, yeah, that's oh, what I feel. Like, if you're angry, if you have a bad day, you just go play video games. That's yeah. kind of how I would do it. It's like, <laughs> That's a good thing. like, you're, like, going yeah. out on the front. Just, go play video games. You know? Missy Nicole. Yo. Yo, what's up with this? Video gaming can happen in the classroom at all. Do you see a potential for... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like it's more like a, a personal like hobby kind of deal. I feel like everyone like you're either really good at it or like it's not your thing because everyone has their own like games that they're playing. Because like there's Guitar Hero, there's Call of Duty, there's race car games, and I feel like everyone has their like own thing that they do. And I feel like it would be too hard to like put it in a classroom. And I feel like people would get bored easily. How do you all feel? Because we're, you know, your teachers. We're trying this out, and we're trying to see if we can have these conversations and um, between students, between whole classrooms, small groups, pairs. How do you guys feel about this forum of a Google Hangout being able to have these conversations? I, 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 I think you put them on mute. Um, I don't know how. I think it's good because then we get like a different I'm, I'm people. I'm not even going to. Like a different state. I'm about to different different I'm about to mute again. I'm not too. Not too. I'm sorry. Okay, so can you hear me now? I don't know how to hear Can you hear us? Okay, so uh, what I said was like, I think it's good to have these because you can get your guys' opinion from like a different part of the country compared to where we live. And so I think it's just more, like it's just better, I guess, because we, we can all talk to each other, but we talk to each other every day. So getting your guys' opinions, I think, is a little bit better. And different informations presented. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Nick. Because we all get sick of each other and we see each other every day, so it's nice to have different faces to hear different opinions. I think it's good to have these because you can get your guys' opinions from like a different part of the country compared to where we live. And so I think it's just more, like it's just better, I guess, because we we can all talk to each other, but we talk to each other every day. So getting your guys' opinions, I think, is a little bit better. And different informations presented. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Nick. Because we all get sick of each other, and we see each other every day. So it's nice to have different faces to hear different opinions. But I like it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. My topic is about exercising. And I want to see... Uh, like how exercising like affects like your mental health and your physical health because I've been exercising a lot and I just feel a lot better about myself and so I just kind of want to see how like do more research and get statistics and stuff and so that's kind of my plan to do on my project so um, Cassidy, do you want to potentially do a Google Hangout next week with one a few of our kids on this end that are working on um, Sports topics and say lifestyle, uh, diabetes, uh, sports injuries. Do you think we could get a Google Hangout together and solve sports topics? Yeah, I'd love to. Do that? All right, yeah. we'll figure something out. You're Sounds good. Thank you for Allison. Cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a question for Noah. Nick, John? Yeah, I got a good question for Noah. Go ahead, John. Why are you so no? Why are you so interested in the cutting? Me? 
Yeah, because I have family and friends that cut themselves, and, and I want them to stop. Huh? What did you say again? I said I want I have family and friends that cut themselves, and I want them to stop. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yo, turn the light. What's your topic, John? My topic? Yeah. My topic is bullying. You can't see this either. It's too bright. You also have. Talk about that some more, John. What about what? What are you going to study with bullying? Uh, I want to know that why people bully and <clears throat> if they can stop bullying. They can't see us with light on. They they going to see us with dark. Be quiet. Okay. You're also talking about racism and um, respect, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. And are those connected? Huh? Do you think those might be connected? Yeah. Oh shit. What? How do you think they might be connected, those topics? How could I? What? Okay, we'll talk later. How do you think they're connected? Oh, I think they're connected because because many people do those things and they, they do race, racism. They don't know how to respect other people. And the bullying, bullying is not good for other people because they hurt other people's feelings. John, can I huh? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, are you potentially trying to use like the cyberbullying? Yeah, I'm trying to delete the cyberbullying. I have a what question for you, John. Like have you ever been bullied before? John, John, give me, give me. John, John, have you ever been bu bullied before, and is that the reason why you're you're gonna do bullying and racism? Yep. I have I have experience in that. Oh, all right. I have a question for the students and John about your topic with bullying. Uh huh. Um. So I'm a teacher in Oakland. And there's a there's a new program that we are thinking about using in the schools, and it's a it's a number or a website that students could contact anonymously. That means without them nobody knowing their name if they've witnessed bullying. Do you think that do you think that students would use that if that was available? Uh, can you repeat that again? Yeah, and this is for all the students out there. If there was a website or a phone number that you could call, so say you witnessed bullying, and maybe not just bullying, but you had a friend that was cutting or something like that, or you saw something online where people were posting pictures inappropriately or saying mean things about somebody else, but you didn't want to say anything for the sake of like someone calling you out, but you wanted to do something about it. Do you think you would do that? You would use that website or that phone number in calling? Yeah. Yeah, I would do that just because of the safety, and the safetyness of all people. Uh -huh. It's not cool. It's not cool to get hurt or you know get bullied. Period. Yeah, no, I agree. I just wondered if students. I mean, students have to want you know want to use it, and if they if the tool is out there and they're like whatever, I'm not going to use that. So I was just wondering if that was available, if you guys would use something like that. Yeah, I would use it or something like that. Okay. The only reason I would use it though is because I, don't want I, I care for the for the people. Sure. Yeah. If other people are like me, I have both. I've got. I have gotten both. I have gotten both. Like you. It's not cool. No, it's not. John, right. John, in your report, did you say that people who get bullied turned into bullies? Yep. <laughs> because, but I am not a bully. Because I believe that people who got who gotten bullied, that they feel that they 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 yeah, that they should bully that they should bully other people too. Yeah, to know how they feel. Yeah. Go and show me. Because they want, because they want other people to feel. Beat up.
computers. With so are you? So you kind of like my um my our whole school has four parts, but our main school is called New Directions. Oh, cool. Secondary school. All right. And we're in the Bronx. Okay. Mr. Cool. Jacob, can you I check visited your teacher about a year ago, but he was in a different school, I think. Oh. And what grade are you guys? You guys are in sixth grade, you said? Yeah, we're in sixth grade. Six Okay, six and seven. All right, great. I have a son who's in seventh grade. Oh yeah, Mr. Ivan, can you tell us about rocks and minerals, like a little bit? <laughs> what do you guys think about using mute? It's fun, huh? That you can just mute somebody like that. No. <laughs> what if you had that power in real life to just? Mute? And by the way, you are. Woo! Hi, Drew. Hello. How's it going? Good. <laughs> hey, Hi, I used to I used to teach in the Bronx. Uh, do you guys know where Jerome and Tremont is? Yeah. 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 I used to teach at a school called MS331 over there. I used to go to that school. You did? Yeah. Oh but no. I used to go for, for elementary. Elementary school PS306. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's, I taught there for four years, so I sometimes I miss the Bronx. <laughs> Where is your school? Where is your guys' school? Huh? Where is your school? What street is it on? Oh, uh, we're in Tremont. You're on Tremont too? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Four hundred one seventy second. Awesome. Uh, we're in Taft Middle School, but the main school here is called New Direction. Got it. In a basement. And you guys are on Youth Voices. Can I? You have the projects on there. Hello? Yeah. Can I show you one of my teachers? I'm in um I'm in after school. Hi. And this is one of our other teachers, Mr. Paul. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Paul. <laughs> Her name is. My name is Miss Masardi. Yeah, that. I'm Miss Masardi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? All right, we're going to go. Thank you. Okay. Oh. All right, guys. Bye. He just Bye. muted Mr. Jr. Wait a minute. Okay. Done.